This morning I want to show you how to perfect your base and create that youthful glow. Starting with our eye cream, I'm using the Youngblood IFX cream and I'm popping that underneath my eyes and over my eyes. This is beautiful and every morning I feel I wake up. This is the Youngblood Hydrolux water cream, beautiful moisturizer, which I am putting all over my face and down my neck and onto my decolletage. Great way to prepare your skin. Next, I'm going in with the Airy Day sunscreen. This is a mineral mousse sunscreen and creates a really nice velvet finish. It's not too shiny. I really like it. It does have an SPF of 50. And also, make sure you put that down your neck and across your decolletage as well. And really massage that in. I always allow that to settle in before going in with the mineral primer. This is the Young Blood Primer. I'm just pressing that into the face. So rather than rubbing it in, you will notice that I really press that into the face and onto my eyes and really prime my skin ready for my foundation. In between all these layers, make sure you let it settle in just a little bit. Now with the foundation, I always dot it through the center of my face first before I start buffing that in. I love using a foundation brush. I do find this gives the best finish. This is a Hillary Holmes brush. It's called Brush One. It's beautiful, perfect for buffing in that foundation. The Fernando um, foundation brushes are great as well. Also, Crown do another great foundation brush. So just buff that in, just ensuring that the last sweep that you do follows the hairs on your face, just so they don't ruffle them up. Once again, down your neck and on your decolletage if you have to. This is a slightly darker shade. You can use a darker shade foundation or a really nice creme bronzer. This keeps that nice glowy look. I'm starting off with all cream products just to give a really dewy finish. So I am just framing my face with this product. A little bit on the eyelids as well. Sticking with the cream theme, this is the RCMA um, Cream Blush. It's a lip and cheek palette. It is gorgeous. This is a really peachy shade. And again, just it's just nice and soft and continues that youthful glow. I'm swiping some on my lips as well. This is the Hilary Holmes Highlighter. I'm putting this on the high points, so just down the nose, a little bit on the inner corner, on my cheekbones there, and just the cupid's bow. And just buffing that in with brush two from Hilary Holmes. So just a small amount. I don't like to be too excessively shiny, so this is where you can do what you wish. Combing out my brows just quickly. This is Celeal. It's a bronzer from Youngblood, and it's just a pressed powder. So what this is going to do is set the same area that I framed my face with before. So now I'm going in with all the powder products, and this will just set everything. This is the Aurora highlighter. So this will set the areas that are highlighted. And this is the Nectar Pressed Blush. Once again, setting where I popped that blush. So when I go in with my actual setting powder, I don't actually need to overset my face. So just use a little bit under the eyes and just anywhere where you feel that you are a little bit dewy. So this way we don't over powder. So we're just setting where we need to. Um, just down over the lip there. And I do like to go up here. This just creates or helps create that, define that definition there. And then we are done. That's your